Three moves that she relies on pretty heavily. Forward air, nair, back air. They're good and moves. That, they're good moves. In a vacuum. In a vacuum. I think that there's a lot of characters that are like broken in a vacuum and then you put them against other characters that are existing in this game and they're, then they're bad. Yeah. Oh. Little Pack versus Fi. This is going to be interesting, especially since Little Pack is going for Mewtwo now these days. Yeah, I have seen that. Uh, so going up against Mewtwo, Meta Knight can actually kill Mewtwo super early, but uh, Mewtwo can definitely do the same right back. Both of these characters are pretty lightweight. Yeah, Meta Knight destroys floaty characters. Yeah. Absolutely destroys. So this will be interesting. And with... I mean, most of the time, you guys, uh, you probably know, Meta Knight used to have ridiculous up air, up air, up B combos. Um, they got nerfed, but against floaty characters, it's almost as though they didn't. Yeah, it uh, still they, works. It connects very, very well against the floaties. And He's ooh. not going to go yep. for the up air there, though. That's way that, that far deep. If he up beat, he would have died. But uh, he caught Little Pack's DI back and was able to kill him with an air off of it. I was going to say, he looks like he's com uh, continuing the abuse, but Lil Pack found his way out of that combo. Just zero to death, and he's going to hit him more in the afterlife, too. That's like how brutal it is. 30% with that tornado, just about. I'm wondering if Little Pack is going to switch to Little Mac after this, but that also wouldn't be a good idea, I think. I mean... <laughs> Neither of them sounds too great. Um, I don't know actually if Little Pack would switch. Nah, I think he. I think he's pretty committed to Mewtwo. Yeah, I feel days. like he would stick to his guns and try to try to play this out. Okay. I mean, right now they're going relatively even. It was just that first stock kind of got exploded. Yeah. Fi doesn't need to approach really. He just. No. And if Fi doesn't need to approach, he won't. Just as a player in general. Mm -hmm. Um. He was very, very content to sit back and wait, especially when he knows like he's playing against a Mewtwo. He's not going to get timed out. He's winning, in fact. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's oh. a okay sitting back. I'm actually surprised he actually grabbed him because usually when Meta Knight does his dash attack, he goes past his opponent, even in shield. Mm. But then again, they were on the ledge, and that's death. Sitting at the ledge is actually really, really solid against Meta Knight. It's terrifying against most characters, but if Meta Knight dash grabs you or dash attacks you there, he can't follow up properly like he would on the center stage. Hmm. Because most of the time when he gets those dash attack or dash grab, he needs the landing strip to follow it. He's like an airplane. He needs a little bit of juice before he can take off. Interesting. Um, but if he cuts you right at the edge, he doesn't have that landing strip. That means he's not going to be able to get the momentum he needs to get the follow up. Or at least not the terrifying, devastating uh -oh. up air, up air, up follow up. Ooh, this is looking pretty bad for Lil Pack. Can he bring this back? Well, it is Mewtwo. I mean, Mewtwo is a glass cannon. Honestly, uh, 20 more percent, and I'm terrified for Fi's life. <laughs> Getting a forward air at the edge of the stage would be brutal. I keep thinking that Meta Knight's up throw is going to kill, but it's not Kirby's. It's just, no. it's not. It's not going to kill. It's not super good. Uh, even against Mewtwo at 120. Not, with a with the platform. Yeah, with a platform, not doing a whole lot. Mm. But ooh, trying to catch him with the DI mix up on that little back pack, throw. hanging on for dear life right now. Oh no, nope, getting he's the down. two frame. No tech from little pack, and that will be the game. I think he may have possibly missed the ledge because okay, so I looked up online mm. this one time, and it said that. Mewtwo's teleport, yeah. grabbing the ledge, it might actually be uh, impossible to two-frame them. Okay. Now, don't quote me on that, because I don't, I don't guarantee that as a fact at I all. I certainly haven't done the research to say otherwise, but... But, there, in other words, it's just it's hard to two-frame Mewtwo. Yeah. So game two, final destination. Uh, right I would say this was probably a good counter pick. There's no platforms. I mean, Mewtwo does like platforms, but I think Meta Knight in this matchup is going to like them more in a nice higher ceiling than Smashville. Yeah, I think the FD actually has the highest ceiling out of legal stages in the game. 
Oh really? I thought it was Duck Hunt or Battlefield. Uh, Duck Hunt and uh, Duck Hunt has the same. Oh, I'm sorry. It was Battlefield. FD has like a universal ceiling size with everything else except for Town and City. Okay. Because they're all the same as FD, and then there's Battlefield that's bigger. But it's it's not a small ceiling. Okay, definitely much more even this time, but Lil Pack, he's got to be careful when he's above Phi. Yeah, I mean, one thing about this stage is it gives Phi a lot of room to just sit back and react to things. He can play that mid-range that he loves so much. Oh, what did he hit him with? Forward air? I think that was a down air. Was it down air? Or was it an air? I have no idea. He it died. Was, it was a Meta Knight move. I can tell you that <laughs> much. Well, five sitting at 95. This is still doable. Knowing that it wouldn't kill just quite yet without any rage, but yeah. I think the next grab will probably do it. I think if Phi is at around 130 or so, Mewtwo's up throw will kill okay. Meta Knight without rage. Oh my goodness, that's kind of a guess. Right Going now, for the trump. It's just been a train from Phi. He got the first stock, and now Little Pack is struggling to keep up. Like I said, Meta Knight destroys floaty characters. Yeah. Oh, it killed. He With got that rage. rage. Yeah, that'll definitely seal out that stock. All right. Let's see if Little Pack can bring it back. Uh, Getting the forward air. Not, not yet. quite explosive enough, but this should still be a punish. Oh, up B at a shield. That takes the set. Really patient. Fi just kept pressuring him with his presence. He would get up close and realize that the defensive options that Little Pack was choosing were not necessarily the strongest. He would do his constant air dodges because he's a Mewtwo. It's a very good air dodge, mm -hmm. um, but it's still exploitable. Um, yes. He would do like any like, air dodge. Hey, uh, you've whipped a move. Now I'm going to attack. Oh, wait, you now have a shield out and you cannot be me. That's bad. Yes. Fi was very patient in that set. Because Meta Knight has to be patient. He doesn't doesn't have the best neutral. He doesn't have... Um, what he doesn't have is, like, uh, end-all, be-all neutral options. It's mm. just, like, from that neutral... From, from that mid-range, he's very, very scary when he has dash attack and dash grab as the two options. It's a big mix-up kind of thing of, do I shield or do I try to throw out this move? Um, but... Once, once he gets that dash attack or that dash grab, the punishment comes in 